When you think of fat loss ingredients, you probably think of caffeine, yohimbine, green tea, or Garcinia cambogia. But in today's video, what I wanna do is share with you a novel ingredient that's not L-carnitine that actually has some pretty impressive research to support its fat loss claims, and that is a compound known as L-baba. So in today's video, what we'll do is break down the incredible research behind L-baba, and we'll dive deep into its mechanism of action so that you can harness its power to ignite your fat loss goals. So first of all, let's get into L-baba. Now L-baba or beta amino isobutyric acid is an amino acid generated during exercise, an exercise induced muscle factor that is not naturally found in genetic code of any organism. It's formed when either thymine or valine are broken down. So the findings were so substantial that they even made their way into online news sites that claim that BABA may be exercise in pill form if BABA could be synthesized and placed into a capsule. And the good news is that L-BABA has been synthesized and manufactured by NNB Nutrition and they call it MitoBurn. So I'll link more research to MitoBurn in the video description. So here we can see that PGC1-alpha is increased, which secretes L-BABA into different organs and tissues. We can see it increasing hepatocyte or liver fatty acid oxidation and increasing adipose tissue browning, which is a beneficial thing. So interestingly, BABA doesn't turn white fat completely brown, but instead it turns it into a third type of fat known as beige fat. Now this adipose form has the characteristics of brown fat, but exists within white fat cells, thus allowing for heat generation from within the stored fat. Now BABA also influences liver fat burning and cholesterol regulation through PPAR alpha activation. So when PPAR alpha is activated, it actually increases the expression of lipoprotein lipase and apolipoprotein AV and decreases expression of APOC3 in the liver. Now these three changes allow the breakdown of triglycerides and cholesterol and the transport of fatty acids out of the liver to be either stored again or burned for energy. So that's remarkable effects of the impacts of L-BABA. So mitoburn is L-BABA, which is the muscles is when the muscles actually produce this during exercise and it is an amino acid metabolite of L-valine triggered by the PGC1 alpha protein from exercising muscles. Now interestingly L-baba is known as an exercise factor. Increased levels of L-baba are associated with many of exercises numerous health benefits. For example L-baba helps regulate metabolism increases energy expenditure, manages fuel selection, and many more effects. Now, up until now, the best way to increase levels of BABA was through intense exercise. But that all changes with MitoBurn, which is designed to help ignite the metabolic fire within. Now, BABA has been shown to initiate the browning of white adipose tissue, and brown adipose tissue has been shown to increase energy expenditure improve insulin sensitivity and help regulate weight management. Now, MitoBurn L-BABA is great for athletes trying to get the most out of their training, casually active individuals looking to support their healthy active lifestyle, as well as those looking for healthy ways to support their efforts to get lean and fit. So here's some pretty insane research that's just been released and it was looking at supplementation with MitoBurn for 28 days improved glucose or glycogen supercompensation under a high carb diet. Now this glycogen supercompensation effect is a very beneficial effect that you'll notice if you're exercising. It's where you're able to hypersaturate muscle cells and liver storage sites with glycogen so that it can be used as an energy fuel source. And as you and I both hopefully know, that glycogen or carbohydrates, the burning of carbohydrates or glycogen is a beneficial way to increase ATP and it's used for high intensity activities. So the results depicted a significant difference in muscle glycogen content between the two mitoburn treated groups and the exercise group. Specifically, supplementation with 200 milligrams per kilogram of mitoburn increased muscle glycogen content by 140.2% while supplementation with 400 milligrams per kilogram of mitoburn 
resulted in a 152.3% increase in muscle glycogen content. So Mito burn supplementation for 28 consecutive days, then carbohydrate and protein intake immediately after endurance exercise in the fed state significantly increased glycogen supercompensation 30 minutes after intake. So this is really, really cool research. The next one here, 200 milligrams per kilogram, 140.2% increase in muscle glycogen. A 400 milligram per kilogram dosage is 152.3%. And this is obviously in, in mice. And then liver glycogen is looking at 400 milligrams per kilogram, leading to 235.2% increase and a 200 milligram per kilogram leading to a 147.3 increase. So we can see some pretty remarkable effects there. Moving on to toxicology studies, bacterial reverse mutation assay. There was no mutagenicity observed. In vitro micronucleus test, non-clustogenic up to 2000 IU per mil. LD50 was greater than 2000 milligrams per kilogram of body weight classified as low toxicity. So overall, what we can see here is that Albaba does appear to significantly enhance glycogen supercompensation and appears safe based on initial toxicological assessments. So next up here, we can see the myokines that are actually released during exercise and through skeletal muscle. And many researchers are now calling skeletal muscle itself an endocrine organ and Baba may be one of the most impactful ones. So we can see that Baba appears to be a really powerful signaling molecule. So here's a summary of the results we've seen in with l -Baba research. Increases uh, liver fatty acid oxidation, it decreases liver triglycerides, and it decreases body fat mass. And these are the leptin-dependent effects. And then looking at the leptin-independent effects, we can see a reduction in liver inflammation a reduction in hepatocyte demise and a reduction in liver fibrosis. So there is now animal research touting the following metabolic changes from Baba. Baba induces beneficial effects on lipid homeostasis in mice. Increased conversion from energy storing white adipose tissue to energy burning brown-like adipose tissue. Increased fatty acid oxidation, fat burning and plasma beta hydroxybutyrate, the primary ketone body generated when oxidizing fat. Protection against fat gain in mice that have low leptin levels. Improved insulin sensitivity and glucose tolerance. Prevention of disuse-based bone and muscle loss. Now, products using mitoburn should typically be taken one to two times per day with 250 to 500 milligrams in each serving. Now, it's best utilizing weight loss formulas such as fat burners and fat burning drinks, but can also be effective in pre-workout supplements both stimulant-based and stimulant-free formulas. Now, given its ability to increase plasma ketone bodies, it may be of extra interest to low-carb dieters, but due to research showing improvements to carbohydrate tolerance and insulin sensitivity, we argue that it makes sense for a lean bulk and glucose disposal agent supplements as well. So as mentioned earlier, exercise is always encouraged whenever possible. However, there are instances when it isn't exactly feasible and individuals may not be able to engage in intense exercise as frequent enough to yield these favorable effects. The encouraging news is that diet remains the most critical factor for weight management, offering hope to those who are unable to exercise. The downside, however, is that the lack of physical activity can lead to bone and muscle loss, which poses long-term health risks. Recognizing the role of exercise in preserving bone and muscle mass, researchers explored whether BIBA, known to trigger exercise-like biological responses, could prevent muscle and bone loss in mice with reduced hind leg loading. The results were promising BIBA reduced cell death, particularly in younger mice, and protected mitochondria from damage caused by reactive oxygen species, ROS. In fact, it outperformed other tested therapies. Interestingly, this next study here was titled Dose Response Absorption Kinetics of Oral L-Beta Amino Isobutyric Acid L-Baba Supplementation in Healthy Men and Women. And what they noted was that L-Baba doses of 250 milligrams, 500 milligrams, and 1500 milligrams produce significantly greater concentrations of plasma L-Baba across a five-hour measurement window when compared to a 1500 milligram dose of valine 
or a placebo. So we can see mito burn by the numbers, dropping body fat. We can see here that white adipose tissue is the unwanted fat constituting about 98% of the fat on our bodies. Now, brown adipose tissue is highly metabolically active and its act of activation actually increases metabolic rate and fat oxidation. Browning of white adipose tissue is an effective way to lose fat and Baber can dose dependently induce the activation of brown adipose tissue in animal models by increasing body fat loss by about 40% compared to control. Fatty acid oxidation is the process of burning fat for energy. Better oxidation is one of the main pathways for fatty acid oxidation. And in animal models, Baber increases the burning of fatty acids in the liver via PPAR alpha. We also mentioned before around the production of ketones and also blood sugar control. So it can stack really well with glucovantage Dihydroberberine is another amazing ingredient. Mitoburn and Glucovantage together stack really, really nicely. Um, so if you want to learn more about l Baber and you actually want to include it as part of your fat loss stack or your dieting goals, definitely check it out from NNB Nutrition. That's it for me today, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.